At age 50, Steve McQueen, the unloved kid out of nowhere who became the highest paid and one of the most popular stars of his time, lost his final battle. It was November 7th, 1980. I think that, uh, that Steve was one of the best film actors I have ever seen. He was uh, alternatively a, a caring and, uh, and brutal human being. Uh, he was determined to achieve what he saw as the right way to approach a situation, be it an acting part, a, a mate, a friend, or a car race. Uh, I liked him. Uh, I hated him. Uh, but I have the greatest respect for his inherent integrity. It's kind of sad because I think he always was striving for something that maybe he felt he never got. But he was a movie star, and he was a great star. And people responded to him. They wanted him to win when he was up there on the screen. When Steve died, we were all together at the ranch for the services, and it was the first time Allie and Barbara had met. And uh, finally, when it was time to say goodbye, I just looked around it and I said, you know, the sad part about that is that Steve always used to say, life is a scam. Yet, as we left the ranch, all I could think of were the happy memories, really. The bad times were canceled out by the good times. And I could still see him with his wonderful teeth and those happy blue eyes. Not as he was later on, I just suddenly reverted to the Steve that I knew. And uh, it was incredible, I mean, he'll always be there. <laughs>